All right, thanks, Shannon. Uh, you know, chopping is one of the toughest things you learn whenever you go to culinary school. It's the first thing they, they kind of teach you is to have knife skills. Not everybody has them. It can be a real challenge. But you don't need a knife when you have the master slicer. This thing is amazing. John Florell is here. I learned uh, when working with John is to just let him start chopping stuff because it's amazing <laughs> what he does. You don't really even have to say anything in this demonstration, and you get it. Instead of one knife, look at all the little knives you have in there doing the job, and they do it all at once. So something like an onion, you're not going to see John and I crying. Nope. We are not going to that. That stuff doesn't bother us. And it goes all into the little catch bin yep. down below. It is one of the coolest things ever. And what I love about it is you notice John never touched a knife. All nope. he does is bring the food to the chopper and he pushes it through. I love this, I love this I, item. I do too. It yeah. comes with the lid so you can chop up your veggies ahead of time. Put it in the, keep it right in the storage container yeah. with its own lid. You get the three inserts too. Now, I'm going to show you real quick. I, I got to tell you, if the only thing you use it for is chopping onions, I think it's worth it. Just I would for buy that. it just for that. But it I does like so potatoes much more. too. Yeah. And you know, I love the eggs. Yes. Eggs going through deviled eggs. Oh, oh I love yeah. that stuff. Yep. But see, anything that grows in layers like cabbage, onions, or celery, when you push it through this little grate here, okay, now these are razor sharp German stainless steel blades. They do the work for you. You just put your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese on top. The lid uh -huh. pushes it through the blades. So your fingers never get close to the cutting blades. And look at this. You can do all kinds of different things. See, anything solid comes out like a french fry right so you can do carrot sticks zucchini spears for a vegetable tray how about uh you know well i'll tell you what how about french fries here i'll put sure. these out here in the front yeah sweet now, potatoes yeah, be good sweet too potato, right french John? fries you can make regular <clears throat> french fries just take a potato place it on top Push down the lid, and it does the work for you. I mean, instant How long would that take a knife? Why would you? Well, who, who would do I'd that never be knife, able. Right? You would never be able to get that same consistency. Listen, you go to those fast food places, you know, you take the kids. They like these little shoestring french fries. Yeah, baby. Think about it. Oh my At the God. fast food places, they get 95 cents for a four-ounce package of french fries. You That's just... $4 a pound for potatoes. <laughs> That's I mean, crazy. If you add that up and figure it out, I mean, what's a potato cost? I know. It's pennies. And it's so much that... better when you do it yourself. Yes. Right? And look at the consistency that you get with the Master Dicer. It gives you perfect French fries each and every time. But the difference, too, it comes with the three inserts, okay? The one that I've been using has the small holes in it. And you're going to love this for your, that thin julienne. Sure. If you do any dicing, here, how about, uh, you can do things like, well, here, let me just grab this bowl and I'll show you. I mean, bell peppers. These little baby bells are delicious when they're minced Fast. up. Yeah. If you've ever bought these things in a supermarket in that little plastic tub already minced up for you, right. think of it, look at, you just look at the prices, okay? Yeah. When you can buy veggies this way, compared to buying them this way, right. it makes a well, huge and difference. And when you buy them pre-chopped, they're never fresh, guys. The, the, right. you need, when you chop a vegetable, you need to eat it right away. Oh, yeah. So having it in a bag is a waste of money. No preservatives, yeah. no additives. And look at how fast and, you I do mean, this. I mean, for omelets in the wow. morning, is perfect. In fact, if you're making an omelet right now and you had to dice up, a, a, you know, a, Look at this. You get perfect, perfect dices each and every time. Yep. Because, uh, you know, again, anything that grows in layers will automatically dice. Anything solid comes out like a french fry. Now, I'm going to show you real quick, too, because you mentioned the eggs. All right, watch this. Here, let me switch out this bowl. Okay. I'm going to show you this because this kind of gives you an idea of how the machine works. It's like having 24 little knives all working at the same time. When I push that egg through that blade, <laughs> you can see how it separates. That's awesome. And that's what, I mean, listen, just for making egg salad or tuna fish, chicken salad, homemade potato salad, now you can do this right in the bowl. In fact, add a little mayonnaise. You can dice up some pickle in there. You can and season yeah. it. And then you put the lid the on right and make in your there, egg right? salad yeah. right in the bowl that the machine comes with. I mean, and look at this. Again, that's four or five eggs that I've already and done. You know what I've noticed, too? It's really hard to mash an egg with a fork. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, <laughs> and I love eggs. It's a pain. So I yeah, actually have this. <laughs> yeah. And I'm telling you, it makes life so much easier. You can chop. Hey, listen, you can put ham in there. You can oh, do yeah. turkey in there. You can chop all those Mix different right kinds of meats. Bowl. Yeah, yeah, it's all in one. And it's easy to clean. Hey, John, let me yeah. do a quick break and show them the colors. Sure. And then uh, while you're switching out here. So uh, when you order, by the way, we haven't even started. We haven't talked about the peeler that you get. Oh, you know. get this, I call it the magic peeler. John will show you that too. So if you order it, you can get it in black. Uh, comes in this turquoise blue, comes in regular uh, navy blue. It comes in this bright green and then it comes in purple. And of course the one John's using is red. You're gonna get this little brush that goes with it. This is to clean out the blades because let me tell you, 
The blades are very, very sharp, gang. So you don't want to sit there with your hand and try to scrub them with a brush. Use this little guy. You just flick it off, rinse it underwater. Yeah. Don't even put it in the dishwasher. It's not worth it. Um, and you also get a lid to go over the bowl, and then you get the peeler. Yep, and we'll and talk about peeler. that in a minute. But the three inserts that the machine comes with, I've been using the one with the small holes. That gives you the fine mincing. Now I'm going to put the blade with the larger holes in. And I'll tell you, if, hey, on taco night, this is, guys, this is probably the only machine I've ever seen that'll actually dice a red ripe tomato. I mean, for tacos, yeah. for well, the skin, John, for it's salsa. Like the, it's like with the peppers, right? Yeah. The skin is hard for most knives to get through. All you do is place a half a tomato on top of the blade, press down on the lid, and presto, look at that, you got diced, <laughs> perfect dices yeah. for your bruschetta or for salsa, thick and chunky style salsa. Or here, if you wanted to do, I'm gonna put an onion in here too, because right. if you wanted to make salsa, now you can do it right in the bowl. Or if you wanna make a quick Greek salad, add a little bit of onion like this. Yeah. And then, here, I can take this blade out, we're gonna and to insert the blades. You see this little tab right here? You insert it like this, push that tab, it locks it in place. So now, so now this is the slicing blade. I'm gonna place a cucumber on top because I'm gonna make a Greek salad. Do a right. couple cucumbers like this, and now you have your Greek salad recipe, or you know all the ingredients. Look all you at need that. is a little black olive, some feta cheese, oh uh, your gosh. dressing, and then you snap the lid on top. How about first like this? Right, take and that with that. you. Yeah, it's ready hey. to go right in the in the in the. Uh, in the refrigerator. John, explain to everybody, because a lot of people don't, they sit there and they go, well, you know, this, what if it gets dull? How am right. I gonna, well, well, John told, showed me once why a knife gets dull. Yes. All right, and he's gonna show you well, now. Knives so. go dull because they hit countertops, cutting That's boards, mine. plates and yeah. dishes. That's why your knives go dull. All these blades ever touch are vegetables, fruit, meat, and cheese, so they stay razor sharp. Yeah. So, I mean, you can do all kinds of fun things with this dicer. I mean, all you do is place whatever veggie you want on top. Maybe you're doing an omelet this morning, or maybe you're having a steak dinner and you want to saute some mushrooms. Place the mushroom over the blade, press down on the lid, and look at that. Guys. You get sliced, perfectly sliced, and I want to show you these. Every slice is exactly the same thickness, so they'll all yeah. cook up at the same time. And they're perfect sizes for, for yes. sauteing mushrooms, and you're going to find the same thing with any of your smaller vegetables. John does radishes, and oh, it, yeah. I'll tell you something. How else would you... You know how hard it is to chop a radish with a knife oh, without know. chopping the top, <laughs> tip of your thumb off? This makes it you easy. You can do two or three or Look four at radishes yeah. at a time, and all you do is press down on the lid. What the it heck? does the work for you. So if you you want to make a salad, you can make your salad right here in the same bowl. It does all the work for you, but I'll tell you what I love this for. I've got a couple of friends of mine that are bartenders, and I, I gave them these things, gave them one yeah, to, yeah. to use at the bar, because when they do their prep work, it's a pain. It takes forever. Oh, yeah, when you're fruit. slicing up your fruit, I know. take a lemon, lime, or orange, place it on top, and press. And look at this. You get perfect pinwheels. That's crazy. Every one is exactly the same thickness, but look at the pinwheel effect that you get. So yeah. for rimming glasses or for sangria, or maybe Pretty. you want to do some infused water. Sure. But the difference now, you can do it a couple of different ways. I mean, if you want a bunch of pinwheels like this, you just place it on top and press. But take a lemon, lime, or orange, and then cut it in half first. And what's gonna happen now, instead of giving you that pinwheel, like the half pinwheel effect, yeah. now, for sangrias. Are getting quarters? Or, yep, now yeah. it'll quarter them down like this. So, I mean, it's the perfect addition to a bar if you have one or know somebody that has one because yeah. it just saves you so much time. And listen, guys, you know, the, the big deal here is, is that if you don't know how to use a knife, you don't need a knife. I mean, honestly, I mean, you can use one to take the edges <laughs> off or to cut a tomato in half if you want to do it the way we did, but you're not doing the dangerous slicing, which is the pinpoint blah, 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 you know, where you're, where you're putting your hand down or trying to chop in a radish or a mushroom or an egg, and that you fumble with that every single time and you'll never I don't care if it's Wolfgang or Ming or right. Curtis I don't care who it is the, none of them can ever dice or cut an apple <laughs> no, perfect quick. every that's time right. because it's humanly impossible to make this is possible to make identical slices so when you're doing things like yeah. the big sub sandwiches you. right you know yeah, the big yeah. heroes oh, yeah. and you want to do tomatoes mm -hmm. and stuff like that how about leeks perfect. guy you ever try and mince leeks with a knife Forget it takes it. forever oh. and who wants to drag out that heavy food processor that takes so much time to set up and clean. With the master dicer, all you do is place the leeks right on top of that yeah. tray, that, that blade and press. And look at this. I mean, yeah. you've got enough there to feed, I don't know. That's <laughs> Dude, a lot a of leeks. A bunch of salads, well, a bunch of soups or stews. And I like mean, you said, to chop and, that by hand, and take yes, it forever. Look at the consistency. Perfect. I'll put this out right next to the yeah. diced uh, uh, bell, bell, bell peppers up here. <laughs> I'll get it out. Look yeah. at that. Each piece is exactly the same. And that's the size you want 
leaks. And, yeah. and to be honest, now that's if you want them bigger, you, you can make them right. bigger. You just change out the blade by popping this one out. You go to the larger one, pop that in, and now you get the you know bigger French fries, yeah. bigger uh, you know diced tomatoes and yeah. onions and cabbage and hey, celery. Hey John, why? I see you put it in on a little bit of an angle. How yes. come you do that? Well, see, potatoes are long one way and short the other. Okay, and you want those potatoes to get the length of that potato oh, through there. Oh, I got there. you. Right. Notice so how the lid closes, kind of like an alligator right. closes its mouth. Right. So you want to put it on an angle and then push it through like this. Yeah. And look at this. You get oh big, gosh. juicy steak how, fries. How like good would those be? Like a little olive oil, salt, <laughs> pepper oh, in the yeah. oven? Oh, my gosh. Just throw them on a cookie sheet. All right. You can do yep. this yourself. That's the key. You don't need any special skills. Although John's been doing this for a long time, and he's really good at it. It's the simple. learning curve on this is nothing. <laughs> because once you start putting it, I actually found, because with mine, yep. I got addicted to it. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm like, I, well, hey, once you can use shop, it, it's going in the little, it's going in the machine. It saves so much time. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, just doing things like this, I mean, I, again, if the only thing you use this for, here, let me dump this out here on the tray in the front. If the, if the only thing you use it for is mincing onions, yeah. it's worth it for this alone. I'm going to put that small little mincing insert back in there with the small holes. Right. You place your onion right on top of the, tr of, of the grate and press, and look at that. You got a half an onion minced perfectly yeah. with no lumps, no humps, no bumps. It comes out perfect for salads, soup, stews, for spaghetti sauce. I mean, it, there's no waste. It goes either. right into the bowl. You, you notice he's not, you know, he's not fumbling with a knife, so there's no wasted pieces. You ever That's chop right. an onion to get down to the very, very end? Look at and this. you always throw that piece away because you can't chop it. Look at the consistency. <laughs> Excuse me, the whole onion <laughs> is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And again, if you wanted to mix ingredients, when food is cooked or sliced even and uniform, yeah. it cooks up even in uniform. Yeah. So instead of where with a knife, you know how you get that one thick slice that, oh, I, and then one thin slice. I gotta show you this. I almost forgot. You get this peeler I with know, it we too. have so much fun and chopping, <laughs> we forgot to peel. I almost forgot the about it. The peeler comes with it, and this is unlike any you peeler you've seen. You get it with seen. the machine. Yeah. It's a dual-sided peeler. One side has a straight peeler. The other side has a julienning peeler. So it peels in both directions. You just push it or pull it either way. You can see how quick and easy it is. But whether it's carrots, potatoes, beets, apples, cucumber, pears. But watch the difference now, because when I flip this over, instead of giving you that straight peel, this has the thin julienne That's peeler. Okay, so now you get that angel hair julienne cut. Yeah, and I, I gotta it. tell you, guy, I mean, I'm looking at the flex pay here. You would pay way more than a flex pay for this peeler. Well, <laughs> that's all first you of all, I, you know I mean, what? I, I went and bought one of those peelers that peels sideways. Yes. Like most people have. And right? that's a dumb way to peel when you think about it. The angle's all wrong. And you got, and the blade, you know, you're trying to tilt the blade. You can cut backwards and forwards, up and down, doesn't matter. You can't do it wrong. And if you want to make like carrot pasta, oh, yeah. look at what John's made there. Pasta. Pick it up and show everybody. Well, I mean, John. take a look at that. That look long, look. angel hair, thin wow. julienne. That's and awesome. You know, the other thing, too, that I like to point out with the man, with the slicer here, yeah. or with the dicer, is that when you use this, okay, over a tray like this, over the bowl, you can do your French fries and you know things that are shorter, like potatoes, apples, carrots, cucumbers. You know, you push it through and you get those perfect French fries. But yeah. if you want longer pieces, like let's say for example you've got one of those long English cucumbers and you want to make some cucumber icicles for the kids, take that blade out and use it by hand like this. Look, place it over the top of your your cucumber what? and press. And look at this, you get those long cucumber icicles. The That's kids the, love these things. That would look great. That would look really good in Shannon's in Bloody case Mary. You miss this. <laughs> oh, sorry. We can, all you do is place it over the top and press down. Shannon, look, look at what he's that. doing. <laughs> Get those long That's cucumber That's the coolest icicles. thing ever. Or you can do the same thing Let me with see zucchini. One of these things. Hey, maybe you're grilling Are you zucchini. Kidding me? And you want to do something different? Look, those long zucchini Makes you sticks smile. like this. Look Perfect at that. On the Isn't that awesome? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, and if you don't like the seeds, you just take the seed part out and you throw that part away and you eat the rest it's of so it. It's so much fun. All right, hey John, great yes. job as always. We got We have to lasso John. He just he gets carried away. I he do. has so much fun with this machine, and you will too. <laughs> hey, listen, we already offered a good deal, but if you want to get ten dollars off and get it for nineteen ninety five, you can. All you need to do is get an HSN credit card. It's easy to do. All you need, you might say, how do I get a credit card? All you do is you call us, and, or you hit that little button, and we'll send it out to you. Shannon will drive it to your house. Yeah. And you'll have a credit card. How much will I save if I get an HSN credit card? A virtual fortune. Woo! $10 off. I love it. That is a virtual <laughs> fortune. All right. Speed